listen to that sound. That is the sweet sound of dry chickens. This is the first chance I've had to see and hear our brand new chicken run roof at work. It is a wet, rainy Oregon day. My timing was pretty good. I cleaned out the gutters and used the leaf blower to clear off the driveway before it started raining. If the rain lets up later, I'll shovel the pile of cedar debris and maple seeds from the driveway in here for our chickens to scratch through. They love doing that and it helps break the stuff down later for composting. If you've had goats, you know they do not like to get wet. And some of our littlest goats have lived their whole lives in this year's drought. They just don't know that rain is normal here in the Pacific Northwest. Let's take a quick look and see how our bucks are doing. the rain you don't like the rain this little shelter was never meant for this many goats they just have to get cozy with each other if they want to stay dry what's the matter indigo you don't want to come out and play in the rain? Rogue? You don't want to come out and play in the rain either? Everybody's nice and safe. Safe from the rain. I wanted to show you a very special egg. Some people call these fairy eggs. Our newest chickens are starting to lay eggs. Sometimes a new layer's first egg 
will be tiny like this. It's perfectly normal, although sometimes it doesn't have a yolk. I'd crack it open to show you, but April, one of our egg customers, has said she's interested in trying one of these fairy eggs. Normally, I wouldn't sell such a small egg. I just wouldn't want folks to feel like they're being cheated. I am very glad, though, that our new chickens are starting to lay eggs. The days are getting shorter and our chickens egg production has dropped off. It's only going to get worse from here as as it gets colder and darker. I'm also glad to say that one of our newest quail is starting to lay eggs too. An interesting thing about quail, they will lay very distinctive eggs. One of our older birds lays these somewhat chalky looking ones with large spots. One of our other older birds lays these with more of a small paint spatter speckled sort of spot. And the newest quail, her eggs have more of a more of a smeared look but they consistently have one dark spot, one large dark spot on the bottom. Pretty cool. Quail eggs really are beautiful. Collecting them every day is like having a little bit of Easter every day. All of our quail are Caternics, so it's not like there's different breeds of quail laying those different kinds of eggs. Each bird just has her own unique sort of fingerprint for her egg. The rain has let up a little bit, so let's dig into this driveway pile.
I love what you've done with the place, chickens. Good job spreading this around. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share this video if you're, if you're interested in that kind of thing.